Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Rad Kotarot and this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and a Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for March 25th to uh, March 31st, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a uh, general reading for Cancer Star Sign and for that reason uh, is going to resonate in a different way and uh, as well in a different level with every single different cancers. So if you want more personal touch, uh, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, uh, that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from the recorded uh, reading, the recorded services are starting from just as little as $12 and the live readings are from uh, $15 and so on. So that being said, going to the Cancer um, weekly reading, the first card which is marking the topic for Cancers here, that is going to be the uh, Knight of Wands, followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation. What you should not do regarding the topic here, this is going to be the uh, Judgment, Third card that we do have that is going to be the positive approach toward the situation, uh, which is what you should do regarding the uh, Knight of Wands, that is going to be the uh, Empress, uh, the High Priestess, excuse me. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the uh, Hermit card. So once again, Knight of Wands followed by the uh, Judgment, after that, we do have the um, High Priestess followed by the Hermit card. So, uh, Cancers, it does look like that uh, this week is going to, uh, you are going to have an introduction for what it seems with this person that is represented by the Knight, by the, by the knight of Wands. Uh, and into that introduction, you should not place great hopes at. It's just as literally what's uh, what the general uh, impression from the reading is what I get. So going more deeper into the cards, the first one that is going to be like I said, Knight of Wands. So what the Knight of Wands it, it does represent, it's a very enterprising young person. It should be around your age or a little bit younger, who is um, ready to do any risk necessary in order to do what is needed. So it's, it's a little bit kind of like uh, well, it is reliable and yet it is unreliable. Now, what you need to know with the Knight of Wands is that these people, they move according to their interest. Meaning, if this is a about kind of like a, a romantic interest here, so you get introduced to that person and you have a crush on them, they have a crush on you, that's great. But in order to feed up, you know, their passion, you have to be constantly interesting to them. So you need to be spontaneous, and you have to do these crazy stuff and so on and so forth that you know makes them kind of like ticking and wanting more and more to to explore you more and more as soon as they explore you fully they're going to lose interest and they're going to move into something else so they are reliable of as a help and you know as a uh, solving problems and so on and so forth but not but they are not reliable in a wrong in the long run at all the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, six of pentacles formation it is a active neutrals and uh, it's it's simply um an, well this week is going to be more like with a peripheral things that you're going to do having this card here most likely everything else is going to go completely as normal <clears throat> But the appearance of that person is to throw you a little bit off of your current that you're moving, off of your routine, in a sense. You know, let's say that you have planned your week and now you get introduced or this person steps out into your environment and you have to, how can I place a re-adopt your plan in a certain way so you can kind of like give them the appropriate attention they do require. Once again, this week to me, cancers, it does look like more a, a choice based. You can choose completely to ignore that person, which is in fact what the cards are advising you to do, and just move on with your tasks, chores, and responsibilities, rather than to kind of like waste. It is truly a waste here, a, a precious time, 
from your week to attend to the enterprises that this, that this person has for you. And yeah, have fun, but in the same time, you know, miss a, a valuable time in which you can improve your uh, circumstances. But it is more like laying a, a foundations and you will see what I'm talking about. So yeah, that is what your week, the, the, the main topic of the week is. So that person could step out into your career, being enthralled by your project, offering you a helping hand, and as soon as you know they get this interest from the project, they are going to bail out. Same thing goes relationship-wise, especially there, you have to guard yourself, because that could be someone you know that is going to approach you, and they are gonna be very gentle, you know, and, and very passionate, you're gonna like it, you're gonna sleep together, and after that, you will never gonna hear from them again. So you have to be careful. Before you um, commit into the endeavors that this person presents to you, uh, you need to make your research. This is what I'm trying to say here, because like I said, they are very inconsistent. So the next card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, and that is the judgment. So what I said, it is about the great hopes. You should not place a, a great hope side into this person that appears if they haven't proven of uh, their kind of like commitment and their seriousness um, <clears throat> and conscientiousness regarding the uh, regarding the endeavors and the projects, or rather like the commitment that you want to. Uh, that you want to do either regarding career or either regarding relationship wise. Um, generally said, the appearance of this card in that position points that this person is not the way, all right? They are just a, a temporary step, something that is gonna come and go and you will have to move on into, you, into the future without them either way, either now in this week or further down the road. Although these cards are advising you to just basically ignore them and move along with your responsibilities in with, and with your duties as well, as the answer you seek resides elsewhere. So the answer you seek to your loneliness, for example, does not reside with this person that you are going to be introduced to or that they are going to step out for throughout the week, but it does reside with someone else especially relationship-wise, guys. Or the resolution of your project does not reside with the enthusiasm of that person and the risky moves that they're going to get, but with something else and what else we're going to get into that in a minute. The accompanied card, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Formation is a active neutrals, so definitely they cannot get you the support. But with the Tree of Pentacles here, it is now clear that they cannot get you what you want. It may seem that way at first glance, but in reality, in the long run, they cannot fulfill your needs, your yearnings, and especially the needs of your soul, because this is the third card that we're gonna get there in a minute. So with the Tree of Pentacles here as a uh, <clears throat> active neutral, it, it, you cannot expect the support required to further your project, nor the um, meaningful cooperations which are going to solve your problems in general, as the Six of Pentacles as well points that this person will be completely unable to solve any kind of issue, even if they try to help you in any way. <clears throat> and also, it doesn't look like that you have what to kind of like add as an experience from them. So they can't teach you anything, nor they can contribute in any positive way for your environment, apart from that, that you may have fun with them, you know, going out on parties, drinks, discos, having sex and so on and so forth, but no more than that. And uh, the next card that we do have, this is going to be the uh, High Priestess, which is the positive approach toward the situation. High Priestess is about seclusion, and it's about defining what your, like I said, soul yearns and what your soul needs. And as well, you know, being in a very, very passive position until that person prove themselves to you, should they be committed enough to enthrall your, um, your attention. I said that you should not put a great hopes at them, but this is a weekly reading, which means this week. Okay, in a couple of weeks from now, they may prove themselves, but this week, not at all. Because if 
you kind of like commit to them this week, they lose interest and they move along, they're gonna come around in a couple of weeks after that. But if you are resilient to what they're trying to, to that they're trying to approach you, and you are resilient of giving them a chance and so on and so forth, that will further feed their interest. And when they prove of that they're serious about their commitment and they truly have consciousness regarding the, um, the commitment as well itself, uh, then, you know, that is going to keep them, well, in my country, we say keep them wet, meaning that uh, they will not be able to bail out that quickly from it. It is because their interest is now fed up um, and they know, you know, what they are signing for uh, in general. But the uh, high priestess, it does point, guys, that being passive, being secluded, you know, not allowing that person to infiltrate that easy your life. And as well, knowing that your answer resides elsewhere, at least for that week, then uh, it looks like that you are to obtain, let's say, a very, very valuable insights, uh, which are going to help you with the last card here, because the insights are very, very important for the, um, for the Hierophant card. The accompanied card of the uh, High Priest is here. This is going to be the uh, Seven of Wands. And the formation is passive enemies. It does look like that the more you pull yourself away from that person, the more tenacious they're going to become, you know, to have you on their side, either career wise or to have you as their partner in relationship wise. And uh, with the seven of uh, once you are serving something like a temptation. So instead you being tempted and to try to like yourself, to um to that person you know they will have to fight for you so it's something like this you know instead you fighting for them they will have to fight for you and if they prove you know their loyalty that's great if they don't prove that lo their loyalty that's even better that is because um <clears throat> We are going to, uh, what I'm trying to say with these cards is that you are going to resist the external uh, external circumstances, the pressure of the external circumstances and the inner tempta temptation as well, not being swiped off your solid ground that you are finding yourself at right now, especially uh, if you are, let's say, married, you know, and this is a, an introduction to a person that you may have some sort of affinity to. <clears throat> being resilient to give yourself, to succumb yourself to that affinity will serve you a, a great, great way. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Hierophant. So the Hierophant point at the end of the week, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, meaning not placing great hopes out, being resilient and waiting for that valuable insight to come around. Through this valuable insight here, it does look like that you are going to make very intelligent moves and you are to... Um, basically found uh, found your um, moves or uh, kind of like strategies forward wisdom wise so you are to rely on your wisdom and all actions of yours are going to be very very intelligent and under this uh, circumstances at the end of the week you are to focus on what is substantial for you meaning your marriage meaning your productivity into your career and so on and so forth not allowing the um, scampered attitude and inconsistent uh, approach of that person to jeopardize either your marriage or relationship, either your happiness of being, you know, single in any way, because you don't have to be in a relationship to be happy, you know, because in my opinion, if someone allows their happiness to be tied to someone else, then they are not a free person. They are simply a slave to that someone else. Being in a relationship is great, but one should always have something else that feeds their happiness, that it is kind of like, um, you know, independent from different people. Uh, and also, uh, as you kind of like focus on what is substantial, at the end of this week, it is likely that you're going to take a, a very solid direction or rather like very meaningful direction. You are going to give very meaningful di direction to your life, uh, which will lead you to a, a big, big breakthrough or a, a big achievement as well. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the strength card for you cancers. So the formation is passive neutrals. And with the strength card, it looks like that you will hold on to your temper in a sense of that uh, you're not going to do any extreme 
at that point because cheating on your partner is quite extreme don't you think or um relying on uh, an inconsistent person for the productivity in your project is as well a bit extreme so you are going to be well balanced at the end of the week not allowing your temper to kick in as well and the best thing it is that everybody will be convinced that you know what you're doing especially career wise you know and you know what you are and you know what you are after and how to get it as well which is going to breed confidence into your partner into your relationship or marriage you know or your co-workers into your career because you resisted the temptation you know to try the easy way out with the risky moves of this person and you stick and you stuck to the um, already established patterns and uh, established concepts so that being said cancers this was your weekly uh, tarot reading for uh, march 25th to uh, march 31st 2019 i hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was a general reading for cancer star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different cancer but if you want more personal touch meaning you know your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give it a, a prediction for it for the future that is a subject for a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find on a very front page a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 the recorded one and $15 for the uh, live readings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!